Packard 120 Convertible Victoria by Darum 1940. Series 1801. 120 horsepower, 282 cubic inches L head and line 8 cylinder engine, 3 speed synchro mesh manual transmission, independent front suspension with unequal length A arms and coil springs, liver ear axle with semi elliptical leaf springs, and 4 wheel hydraulic brakes. Wheelbase, 127 inches. The Packard Darren was a remarkable blending of all the glory that was Packard in the classic era with all the impudence that was the stock and trade of Howard Dutch Darren. The result was glamour with lots of pizzazz, a perfect fit in the luxury makers lineup for an exclusive, halo automobile. Without Darren's insistence, the car likely would never have been built. Following his days in Paris, the inimitable Darren settled in Hollywood where he immediately established himself as the purveyor of custom coachwork to the stars. The polo-playing Darren was quickly accepted by the Hollywood crowd, his well-cultivated French accent fit in perfectly. He named his shop Darren of Paris, and his first client was Dick Powell, for whom he fashioned a two-passenger Ford Roadster in 1937. Shortly thereafter, he built a two-seat convertible Victoria Roadster on a 1937 Packard 120 chassis for actor Chester Morris. It led to the idea of building a five-passenger version and selling Packard on the idea of including it as part of its lineup. The initial word from Detroit was no, but that didn't stop him. Darren began with a standard Packard 8 business coupe, little of which remained when the transformation was completed. Most memorable were the sweeping cut-down curves of the doors, the car's signature styling feature commonly referred to as the Darren Dip. The rakish body looked downright racy when compared to competitor Lincoln Zephyr Continental, yet the car remained unquestionably and distinctly, a Packard. Darren arranged to have the car parked outside the Packard Proving Grounds at the time of the annual dealers' meeting, precisely where the dealers could not help but see it. That, as they say, was that. Under pressure from its dealers, Packard included the Darren as part of its catalog for 1940 with three models, Sport Sedan, Convertible Sedan, and Convertible Victoria. It is estimated that 100 were built through 1942 when production was halted prior to World War II. Darren's were real celebrity cars, Tyrone Power, Errol Flynn, Al Jolson, Ruby Keeler, Preston Foster, and Jean Krupa all had one. The 120 convertible Victoria cost $3,820. Virtually every item on the car except for the headlight pods was either modified or handcrafted by the Central Manufacturing Company of Kennersville, Indiana, one of the last remnants of the Auburn Cord Wiesenberg Empire. By the end of the model year, however, Auburn had signed contracts with both Ford and Willys to build Jeep bodies so production of the 1941 Darns was moved to the Sayers and Scoville plant in Cincinnati, Ohio. Despite the beauty of the design, extensive advertisements, and the wide press coverage given by automotive writers, sales never reached the goals of both Darren and Packard. Though most Darns were built on the senior 180 chassis, it is universally agreed that a limited number were built on the 120 chassis. James Hollingsworth in his book Packard 1940, A Pivotal Year, notes that at least 15 were produced with 5 known to exist, as well as 44 on the 180 chassis. Packard expert Don Figgin states that 24 of the 120s were produced, along with another 48 180s for the model year. Regardless, they were built in limited numbers, which only adds to their desirability today among collectors. According to Mr. Figgin, this particular car was acquired many years ago by Robert Kellner of California in the southern United States and stored for many decades awaiting restoration. The car was finally completed in the mid-1990s, with mechanical work by just Packards in Northern California. It was then shown at Pebble Beach in 1996 and 1997, receiving a class award in the latter year. Subsequently, it was owned by the Black Hawk Collection and was displayed at the Imperial Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Unfortunately, little is known of its earliest history, though this convertible Victoria is regarded as an authentic and beautifully presented example. The car is finished in a classic combination of Packard maroon over tan leather, a handsome combination on any vintage Packard.
the offering of a genuine Packard Darren is rare, indeed, and this example is one of the most attractive recently made available for sale. It is a spectacular Packard with all the Hollywood glitz and glamour one could wish for.